An Ocean View Mega Bridge Highway is finally getting off the ground, and it will span over 32 kilometers, connecting Bataan to Cavite. Yes, this is the Manila Bay Bridge, or the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge. This ambitious project will finally ease the traffic going to northern Luzon, and the bridge highway provides a direct route from south Luzon to central Luzon and vice versa. This project was proposed by the Department of Public Works and Highways, and recently it was approved by the National Economic and Development Authority. And the price tag? A whopping 187 billion pesos, making it the most expensive bridge to be ever constructed in the country. The Bataan Bridge will have a four-lane, which starts from Barangay Alasasin in Mariveles, Bataan, crossing Manila Bay and passing through an ending in Barangay Timalan in Cavite. NADA said that once the construction officially begins, it will include the construction of two navigation bridges, interchanges, land viaducts, turnaround facilities, special span bridge near Cavite Coast, a toll plaza and administration building, as well as the improvement of local existing junctions. The government said that the project will be funded through the official development assistance. This project was first proposed by the former representative Felicito Payumo in 1987, and it was a bridge crossing in Manila Bay, which he named the Trans Manila Bay Crossing. In 2016, Payumo revived the proposal again, pitching the bridge as a means to decongest traffic in Metro Manila and boost the economy. Payumo has noted that commuters in Cavite and other parts of southern Luzon do not need to pass through Metro Manila to reach central Luzon if such a bridge would be built. Traveling from Cavite to Bataan and vice versa is without a doubt a tiring ride. To get from Cavite to Bataan, you will have to go through provincial roads, take the southern expressway systems, traverse heavy Metro Manila traffic, take a turn to the northbound expressways, and take Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, which brings the total journey's distance to about 160 kilometers. It seems excessive, since the two provinces are just right around the pond from one another. The Bataan Cavite Bridge is definitely the answer to the long travel. If the project pushes through and is completed, it will cut the travel time from Cavite to Bataan to as little as one hour or less, from the usual five to six hours through Metro Manila. It will also help decongest the North Luzon Expressway, especially during the weekends and official holidays, due to the exodus of travelers going out and eventually back into Metro Manila. It is also noted that the Bataan Cavite Bridge will be implemented over a period of six years. This bridge is one of the major projects under the Build, Build, Build program, which seeks to accelerate infrastructure spending and develop industries that will yield robust growth, create jobs, and improve the lives of Filipinos. According to Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Ernesto Impernia, the approval of these projects is a pivotal step in fulfilling the thrust of fostering growth centers in the regions and expanding access to development opportunities throughout the country. These are in line with the national spatial strategy to make cities like Metro Manila and to improve connectivity between areas. Anyway, what can you say about the Bataan Cavite Bridge Highway? Is it the answer to a faster travel ride from Cavite to Bataan and vice versa? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching!